Hello everyone. I am Pastor Francis Sanford. I have a word for you that's going to encourage you and inspire you. But before I get into the word of the Lord, let's pray. Precious Father in heaven, we thank you that your word will minister grace to everyone that is listening. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we're going to be talking today about the power of the blessing. Now, you might say, what's the blessing? It is an empowerment to prosper. It is an empowerment for you to succeed for you to excel in everything. It is an anointing that God has placed upon you for you to win over every challenge. It is the blessing of the Lord that will take you from the pit to the palace. This blessing that God Almighty has placed up on every believer. It will bring you all the way over into your promised land. The blessing of the Lord is an empowerment for you to have an abundance in all good things and for you to have an abundance and every area of your life. It is the anointing of increase. It is the blessing of the Lord that God has placed upon every believer. It will cause heathens to give to you. It will cause wealth to be transferred into your hand. It will cause the heathens to give you buildings which you did not build. It will cause houses to be given to you which you did not build. But not only a house. How about houses filled with all good things. The blessing of the Lord will bring wealth to you without painful toil. What does that mean? You won't have to struggle for this. You won't have to go out and work and slave like a heathen or like a slave. No, it is an anointing of ease. It is a rest. You rest in the promises of God. You rest in the word of God. You rest in laboring in the word and not in working and struggling and having a difficult time. No, the blessing eradicates all of that and it makes everything smooth and easy for you. But what you must do, embrace this blessing. Have faith in the blessing of the Lord. Value the blessing because there's absolutely nothing that this blessing cannot do for you. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth to you. The blessing of the Lord will cause you to be rich and you don't have to toil. Can I say that again? No toiling, no struggling, just believing. Just trust it. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. The blessing of the Lord will cause promotions to be granted to you. The blessing of the Lord will cause you to have supernatural prophetic dreams. And in those dreams will be instructions for you. The blessing of the Lord 
will cause you to have prophetic eyes to see and have these supernatural visions. The blessing of the Lord will cause you to have longevity and to live an excellent health. The blessing of the Lord will cause you to live out the fullness of your days without sickness and disease and poverty because the blessing of the Lord overrides the curse of poverty, the curse of sickness, the curse of disease. This blessing that I am talking about is the same blessing that God imparted into Adam. It's the same blessing that God imparted into Noah. It's the same blessing that God imparted into Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, King David. The same blessing that King Solomon walked in. It's the same blessing that was upon Jesus. But guess what? Thanks be to God. Everything that Jesus walked in, we can walk in it. Jesus made it possible. For we are the seed of Abraham. And he was blessed beyond his wildest dreams. And God is still the same today, yesterday, and forever. We can look to Abraham and see how God called him alone and Sarah and bless them and increase them. That's the power of the blessing made Abraham. I call him a 21st century multi-billionaire. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So this blessing, thanks of God, will cause promotions to come to you. For promotions does not come from the north, the south, the east, or the west. But promotions come from the Lord. Benefits. He will load you daily with benefits. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth to you without painful toil. I'm telling you, lands will be given, houses will be given, buildings will be given, everything that's needed to go in your homes, apartment buildings, transfer of businesses, transfer of churches, God is doing extraordinary things for his children. We are living in the greatest time in the history of the church. God is accelerating supernatural blessings. So expect the blessing of the Lord to manifest and call supernatural miracles to manifest for you quickly. And suddenly, all at once, one day you might not have a dime, but the next day you are a multi-millionaire. Why not? Believe for it. So embrace the blessing, have faith in the blessing, value that blessing. Because Proverbs 10 and 22 says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth to you without painful toil. And in Deuteronomy, the 6th chapter, the 10th and the 11th verse, he said he give you cities you did not build, mm. and houses filled with all good things. So expect it. It belongs to you. For you are a child of the Most High. And I am going to close now. But I want you to know that I love you. And I'm expecting you to believe God like never before. And until next time, remember, we walk by faith. We live by faith. We are strong in faith, giving glory to God. Bye-bye. We love you.